Hello folks, I'm back with one of these uh, Guitar Secrets videos. It's a series I'm doing for God knows how long on uh, unknown brands, overlooked brands, underrated brands, brands that started out as crap and now making decent guitars. Uh, there's a few of those. Uh, I remember a few years ago, every Samek that I found was terrible. And lately they're putting some good stuff out under that brand name. I know the Samic Factory makes a lot of different brands, but under that brand name they're really up in the game and making some really nice stuff. Uh, but anyway, this one's not about Samic. I've got a couple of things to show you. The first one is this nice spruce dreadnought cutaway with a linden back. Uh, and the brand name is Tian Wan. I'm saying that as if it's uh, a Hispanic um, a company. It's T-I-A-N-Y-U-A-N. I'm sure that's pronounced differently uh, in Chinese. Um, but anyway, uh, that's going to put people off. Anything with sort of a, 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 an Asian or, or Chinese name tends to have people sneering it. These are very nicely made guitars, um, but require a lot of setup. And I've only ever seen them from one eBay seller. Uh, and he lists the brand as XD Lee for some reason. Perhaps that's the original maker. Uh, but it is, uh, the headstock says Tian 1. No model number. Uh, just a nice dreadnought. It's got the uh, rosewood bri uh, bridge fretboard. A nice, what looks like cedar inlaid rosette. Uh, black, although I think it's plastic, uh, nut and saddle. Uh, I had to do quite a bit of fret work on it um, to get them level and playing well. And the action was horrible when it came. A bit of a back bow, but um, that's been corrected. Makes a very, very nice entry level guitar. You can buy these around $100 uh, if you can do the work, or if you can probably find uh, uh, a luthier that set it up for you for a few dollars more in hint. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, that's the uh, uh, Tian Wan guitar. Uh, the second one I'm even more excited about because it's a solid top, and that is this beautiful satin finished uh, spruce topped guitar, mahogany back, made by Enya. I really love uh, uh, satin or uh, you know sort of the hand rubbed finishes. Uh, I just hear more more wood tones, more more bass quality on guitars finished this way, I look for them. Uh, this one's particularly nicely done, it's a really nice bit of spruce. It's got the uh, etched um, rosette on it. Very nice mahogany in the back. Uh, nice binding, black binding. Uh, just well done. Beautifully shaped rosewood bridge, rosewood fretboard. Um, mahogany two-piece neck. Uh, and also black, the black keys, which are uh, excellent quality it seems. And the confusing thing about Enya, actually there's a couple of confusing things. Um, this one, the headstock says Enya, the label says Amari. Uh, I think Amari is a subsidiary of uh, Enya. Although looking at the label you could be forgiven to thinking Amari is a mo the model of this guitar. It's not, I think it's a, a line of guitars. Uh, so it's an Enya or Amari 418C. Um, and these you find around 180, uh, 190, 200 dollars uh, in various places. Uh, really plays like a two, three hundred dollar guitar. It just uh, uh, really does match up well with uh, things like Ibanez Artwood or some of the nice Court Earth series guitars, uh, Alvarez AD 90s, 60s, uh, uh, any of those models. It plays plays a lot like that. Nice solid top. Uh, it's got a great tone. Um, uh, one thing I've heard is that Enya is, I heard one rumor that they're going out of business and their stock is being sold off. I don't know if that's true or not. I heard that from one particular seller. Perhaps he got hold of the Amari line and is selling that off. I don't know. Uh, I have noticed that um, uh, they do also sell a lot of really good ukuleles from what I hear. Uh, I like the reviewer Got a Ukulele on YouTube. He does excellent ukulele reviews. And he just posted an Enya ukulele uh, review that's worth checking out. Uh, and what he says about those ukuleles, about wood and craftsmanship, 
it is applicable to um, their acoustic guitars as well. Uh, so while they're available, um, grab them if you can. Uh, I think in this price range, it's an excellent solid uh, top um, guitar. It also looks as if the back might be solid as well. Uh, it's hard to tell with mahogany, but um, I think that might be the case. Uh, nice and light, a good uh, sounding acoustic. Um, so there you go, there's two relatively unknown brands, uh, Enya or Amari and uh, uh, the Tian Wan or Juan or Yuan, however you say it. Uh, look out for them, uh, but realize that you probably will have to do a full fret dress, um, a truss rod adjustment, an action adjustment, always a nut adjustment. They don't cut the nut slots properly, properly in most of the uh, factories. Uh, so either learn how to do that or find somebody to do it for you at a reasonable price and you can take advantage of some of these uh, lesser known brand guitars that play really well with a good setup. Alright, see you next time.